good reason. Well, wouldn't you know it, my brother's got pneumonia. He's uh, three years older than I am, so that'd be uh, 65 plus 3 would be 68. So, well, I think he's on the downhill slide of it. He took last week off of doing anything. He came up here to see me, though. He comes up every Wednesday to see me. So that, that works out okay. And, uh... He's pretty well, he brings mom up here to see me. Forgive the shades, but uh, my roommates opened up the blinds and it's bright lights in here today. Come in. Hello. Hello. Is the light hurting your eyes? No, but someone else asked that today. They did. The outside light? The bright, it's a bright day, and Brent's trying to destroy my eyesight. Maybe we can have a meeting in it. No, don't touch it. Don't touch it. You'll get mad. No, he doesn't like that, like that. You can still see out. I'm not going to it. I'm Well, I'm glad somebody with some reason has shown up finally. <coughs> He's been resting over there. I haven't been talking to him. Forty-seven degrees outside. Is that about right? Yeah, it's pretty cool. A little bit. Have you been seeing them opening up the little boxes and changing the thermostats over? I saw them do it today. Okay. Turn on the heat, huh? Yay! Not bad today. The medicine worked. He's like, yeah, get out of my room. Alright, we'll see y'all later. Bye. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. With so many mesothelioma lawyers on television, how do you choose? Well, so, we got the shades dimmed down a little bit. So I get to take my shades off. That works good. Also, but anyway, so Rex is, I'm hoping Rex is going to be all right by Wednesday. Say a prayer for him for me. Because I got a feeling he's going to back off till Thursday or Friday anyway. 
I said, just be feeling good. He's got to pick up the ice cream, pick up the Mountain Dew, and what else does he bring? Ice cream and Mountain Dew, I think that's all he brings. And Mom, he picks up Mom. <laughs> Almost forgot about her. Ooh, I was wanting some this tea, iced tea. Mm. Well, I better forgo that this week, too. some small little car that gets like 30 miles to the gallon he was saying but I guess he doesn't want to drive it out this far it's about oh, 50 miles from his house one way so it'll be a 100 mile round trip come out here be like going up to Turner Falls He'd probably rather go to Turner Falls and come up here and see me. Mm. That'd be about the size of that. And we don't, yeah. Of course, you see Turner Falls is shut down due to the cold weather. And uh, the price is only half price for the cold weather weather that's good to cruise around back there and walk around and see everything a lot of things to see up there that you can't see during the summer because of the leaves a lot of rock formations and just really a, a fantastic area See, I'm sure the Indians fought hard to keep that spot theirs, but naturally, like everything else, we went out. So, I'm going to be eating dinner here shortly, so I guess I'm going to probably go ahead and hop off here and say my goodbyes. Uh, that's that's the only thing, you know, Rex has pneumonia and he's been sick with it for almost a week so far. So he should be about coming out of it now. Now he finally went to the doctor and got himself some medication and all. He's like everybody else. He didn't want to spend $200 on an office visit to the doctor's office. And that's the same way Ricky is. He doesn't want to spend that much at the doctor's office. I see if I can get a hold of him real quick. We don't know whether we can get a hold of Rick or not. Let's see him burst in. Yeah. I'll Oh, 
don't think you will. Yeah, I 